Hey everyone, it's Dee here from CoinKite, and today I'll be demonstrating our passphrase function on our cold card Q and MK4. Let's get started. To begin, make sure that you've signed into your cold card using your PIN, and ensure that you've set a seed phrase. A passphrase wallet is essentially a wallet on top of your existing seed words. It's important to remember that your passphrase is not saved upon power down. Upon power on, you must reapply the passphrase if you want to use it. Starting with the cold card Q, go down to passphrase and hit enter. This is where you're going to be entering in your passphrase. Once you're done, hit enter. Now you'll see the new fingerprint ID at the top and the option to save to micro SD card. Hit enter to apply. On the cold card Q, you'll see that the passphrase is set and the new fingerprint ID is at the top. To go back to the original seed without the passphrase, go down to restore master. Hit enter and you'll go back to the original wallet without the passphrase set. Now let's do the same thing on the MK4. Go down to passphrase and click edit passphrase. Now enter your preferred passphrase. Press the check mark and scroll down to apply. Then hit the check mark once more. Your new fingerprint ID will show up and it will ask you if you'd like to save it to the micro SD card. Click the check mark and you'll be back at the main screen. Now we're back at the main seed applying the passphrase again, but this time we want to save it to the micro SD card. This will save an encrypted backup of your passphrase to the micro SD card. This encrypted file is specific to this card, so it cannot be transferred to a new micro SD card. Once you've applied the passphrase, make sure that your micro SD card is inserted into the device. Then you're going to press 1 to save the encrypted file onto the SD card. Now that we've saved the passphrase onto the micro SD card, we're going to restore master, and then we're going to apply the passphrase not by inputting it, but by selecting it on the micro SD card. The device will decrypt the file, and you'll have the option to select it. Hit the check mark, then hit restore. It will apply that passphrase right from the micro SD card instead of you inputting it manually. Your master fingerprint will show up again, and you're good to go. You can sign transactions from that passphrase wallet. Now we're going to run through the same thing on the cold card queue, just so you know how to do it on both devices. You're going to go down to passphrase, apply your passphrase again, insert your micro SD card, and then press 1 to save the encrypted backup. As you can see at the top, we're on the passphrase wallet, we're going to restore to master, and go back to that original seed without the passphrase. We're now restoring the passphrase from the micro SD card, it's decrypting, you have the option to select it, and hit restore. And there you have it. You're back into that passphrase wallet able to sign transactions. Thanks for watching. For more information or to make a purchase, go to coinkite.com.